This is part of the Justice Department's expansion of Operation Legend, an operation that is relatively new that's goal is to fight crime. However, the mayor, after years of attack from the Trump administration, not only on Chicago, but other cities run by Democrats, is really questioning the Trump administration's motivation in all of this. Weekend after weekend, shooting after shooting, homicide after homicide. Chicago's violence has been national news for years and one of President Trump's main targets after calling the city a disaster and citing Tuesday's mass shooting. <laughs> the president announced he is taking action in what's called Operation Legend. The FBI, ATF, DEA, U.S. Marshal Service and Homeland Security will together be sending hundreds of skilled law enforcement officers to Chicago to help drive down violent crime. At least 200 federal law enforcement agents are heading to Chicago with the promise from the administration that their mission here is different than in Portland, where unidentified agents in camouflage have gotten into violent confrontations with protesters and used unmarked vehicles to detain them. The DHS mission in Portland is to protect federal property and our law enforcement officers. In Chicago, the mission is to protect the public from violent crime on the streets. After first threatening to sue the Trump administration to keep federal agents out, Mayor Lightfoot is now welcoming them with cautious optimism and a warning. She will use the courts if the federal agents overstep their mission. If those agents are here to actually work in partnership on support of gun violence and violent cases, plugging into existing infrastructure of federal agents, not trying to play police in our streets, then that's something different. And that may add value. But the proof is going to be in the pudding. Along with Chicago, Albuquerque will also see a small number of federal law enforcement agents. And the Trump administration is thinking about expanding this operation to both Philadelphia and New York City. All of these cities are run by Democrats. Eric Rung, WGN News. Chicago.